hello, and welcome back to Hitman 2 and the last resort mission set on Haven Island. And today we will be taking care of the Hot Sauce Challenge, which entails killing Ludmilla Vitrova in a kitchen gas explosion. So for this one we will be bringing with us our ever trusty lockpick, our silence pistol, some lethal poison for Tyson Williams and the electrocution phone stored in the shark hut for Stephen Bradley. So right from the start off the bat what we're going to do is make our way along the pier until we get to the shallow water, jump off to our left and approach the shark hut which is our residence whilst on the island. Although we haven't registered, so we will have to break in. So we're gonna lockpick our way through the bedroom door and just on the chair by the balcony, we will find our electrocution phone. So with that in hand, we are now gonna make our way back out of the villa and along the pier to the shore. And that is the reception building just ahead of us. And just behind that is the pool, the spa, and the gym. And the gym is where we are heading for, which is just to our right. We're going to go up the first flight of stairs towards the gym. And we are going to place our electrocution phone just on the floor around about here. And eventually, or quite shortly actually, Stephen Bradley will come along, he will make his way down the stairs, he will spot the phone and collect it. There he goes now. So we're just going to wait for him to pick the phone up before we move off. So that's Stephen Bradley pretty much taken care of. We're now going to make our way all the way along the beach and across the island to the Tyson Williams Villa which is right at the back of the island. So we're going to run down behind the restaurant and bar building uh -huh. and out towards the beach. And once we reach the beach here, we will then veer off to our right where we will see the villa. There it is, just off on our right. We're going to run down the beach along the side of the villa. We're going to run in the water just a little bit so we can avoid the camera just on our right here. And make our way along towards the back of the villa where we will find a gap in the fence. We can vault over the wall. We're going to grab the newspaper just in front of us. And make our way into the foliage on our right until we're under the stairs. We're going to throw our newspaper at the foot of the stairs and that's going to attract the attention of one of the villa guards and he will come along to investigate and when he does we can render him unconscious we can take everything he drops and we can then take his outfit and proceed so he's just coming around the corner now he's going to make his way under the stairs and we can then position ourselves behind him render him unconscious we're going to grab the key that he drops, that's the important bit really. Take his outfit, that's the very important bit. And with that taken care of, we're now going to pull out our silence pistol and we're going to shoot through the lattice work and the open window into the security room and we're going to take out the surveillance system. There we go. So with that all now taken care of, we can now make our way into the villa via the rear doors. And we're going to make our way up into Tyson's bedroom and we're going to poison his medication. Uh, he won't actually go and take the medication until he's told to by the doctor. And the doctor will take quite a little while to get here and perform his examination. So we've got plenty of time before Tyson drops dead. So once we've made our way into the bedroom, poisoned the medicine on the bedside table, we are free and clear now to begin the hot sauce challenge. So we need to make our way back to the restaurant bar and bar building. And on the ground floor, just below the restaurant, we will find a storage room or maintenance room. 
and in that storage slash maintenance room we will find ourselves a wrench so directly under the restaurant around to our left and into the door on our left and just on the table in the center of the room we find our wrench so we need that to create a gas leak in the kitchen and once we have our wrench we can then make our way up the stairs and into the kitchen area as you can see Lud Miller is currently here but we are going to wait for a little while we need to take care of both of the chefs so we're going to use the ice machine in this spare little room here to distract each of the chefs one by one. When they come to investigate we can then render each of them unconscious and we will take one of their outfits while we're here. So first of the chefs has arrived, we've rendered him unconscious, dropped him in the freezer and we've re-triggered the ice machine. That will get our second chef. And when he comes in to investigate, we will just rinse and repeat what we've just done. Close the door behind him, always remember that. So render him unconscious, dump his unconscious body into the freezer, which will eventually kill him if no, no one finds him. And we will take his outfit. Although, in the Hitman world, he will not die. So, as you can see, Lud Miller is still currently here, and if you so wish, you can speak to her, she will come into the kitchen, you can start the leak, and get the challenge over with now. But for the purposes of the video, I'm going to wait in the little side room here, with my remote trigger in hand, for Tyson Williams to drop dead. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Two targets remaining. So once Tyson Williams is dead, we are going to trigger our remote and we are going to kill Stephen Bradley. And he, when he goes, we are free and clear. So, that's Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. Just one more target to go. So that is our two non-target targets both now taken care of. And like I said, the Tyson Williams kill does take several minutes to come to fruition. So we're going to make our way in the meantime into the kitchen and wait by the cookers. Now Lud Miller may walk straight into the kitchen and then you can just trigger the leak and leave or as you can see for me she had to wait to be invited so once we've invited her in we're going to make our way straight back to the cooker start the gas leak Lud Miller will investigate that distraction we are going to try and run around the outside here and get a good view but I got held up at the window and we missed the explosion Lud Miller Vitrova has been permanently retired but once she turns on the cooker, that will trigger the gas explosion and kill her and get us the hot sauce challenge. So all that's left for us to do now is make good our escape and the nearest exit to me is the rubber dinghy underneath the bar. So we're going to make our way down the stairs and to the dinghy. So there you go, that is the hot sauce challenge. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.